Hey guys, it's Alex from 7th Hour Films, back again with Doctor Who. Last time on Doctor Who, we had The Lodger. Um, so, uh, Amy and the Doctor got separated with Amy on a uh, out-of-control TARDIS and the Doctor stuck on Earth. And uh, there was apparently something uh, in a little flat in London. Um, was it in London or was it... I don't know, maybe it wasn't in London. It, it might have been in London, I don't remember. But at this little flat, so the Doctor moved in as the lodger, the new lodger. And then they found out, uh, after some uh, shenanigans that happened, uh, after some hijinks, that uh, it was someone's attempt to build a TARDIS had uh, crash-landed on top of the flat, and then they got it to leave, and then that was that. Yeah, that's basically that. Uh, this is where I say no spoilers in the comments whatsoever. Let's stick to this episode and previous episodes of Doctor Who, Torchwood, Doctor Who Classic, and uh, the Sarah Jane adventures that I've reacted to. And with that being said, uh, let's get right into this episode of Doctor Who. Obviously, uh, you can tell that this is, um, if you're watching this, when this is going up on YouTube and stuff. Um, this is, uh, Monday when this episode's going up, uh, and on Wednesday, uh, the next episode will go up, I'm trying to fix my hair, it's a little off today, um, the next episode will go up on Wednesday, cause that's just generally what I do when I get to the last two episodes of a series, so yeah, uh, let's just get into this episode, here we go. 1890. Vincent, can you hear me? Oh no! Vincent! What's it supposed to be? What is it? 1941! Are we back to Churchill? You're not supposed to understand it, Prime Minister. You're supposed to deliver it. Deliver it where? Do you mean Dr. Song? Give me that. River. Seriously, just give it to me. I'm entitled to phone calls. The hallucinogenic lipstick. She tried to use it on me. She's gone. Your tricks don't work in here, Dr. Song. She ain't there. Bye. <laughs> oh. This is the royal collection. Oh, shit. And I'm the bloody queen. Yeah. What are you doing here? I need to find him. Then why are you stealing a painting? Look at it. Yeah, show me the painting. Find the doctor. A message from the dawn of time. And no one knows what it says because no one's ever translated it. Till today. The TARDIS what can. To Us. Hello, sweetie. Oh, no. We are honored by your presence. Well, you're only human. Arise. Roman person. <laughs> Why does he think you're Caesar? Cleopatra will see you now. The lipstick! It's River Song, she took over the Roman army! Doctor, what is this? The TARDIS exploding. It's time! Ah! You'd want to remember where you put it then. Okay. Why can't you take the TARDIS? Maybe it's not good to take the TARDIS. Never mind. Forget what I said. It's Stonehenge! You gotta be kidding me. Um. Not the Cybermen. No! What? Wow. Didn't think the sonic screwdriver could do that. If it could do that, why didn't they use that in an unearthly child? These stones are great big transmitters broadcasting a warning to everyone everywhere, to every time zone. But Pandorica is opening. Not to hmm. everyone everywhere. Even Paul Vincent heard it in his dreams. But what's in there? What could justify all this? Doctor, Interesting. Everyone, anything that powerful I'd know about it, why don't I know? Doctor, you said everyone could hear it. So who else is coming? Yeah. Everyone. Across space and time. There are at least 10,000 starships. Oh, crap. At least. 
shit. The Daleks. Daleks. And cyber ships. Well, we need stuff fire. I turn them on each other. I mean, that's easy. It's the Daleks. They're so cross. Suntaran. Four battlefleets. Shit. Suntarans. Cross. Who stole all their handbags? Terminator. Slavine. Chelonian. Nestine. I can't write all those. Hemogos. Everything that ever hated you is coming here tonight. Huh? You can't win this. You can't even fight it. The greatest military machine in the history of the universe. The Romans. Are you crazy? So, are you proposing to someone? I'm sorry? I found this. In his in jacket. Pocket. Yeah. It's weird, I feel. I don't know something. You guys have explained to me the doctor still remembers Rory. Your house. <sighs> My ex. It was too big, too many empty rooms. Does it ever bother you, Amy, that your life doesn't make any sense? Ah, jeez. Ah, no, the arm. Freeman, we're gonna have to talk about that. No! Oh, crap. Ah! Oh, God. I didn't realize these just parts of Cybermen were that good. Doctor? Yeah. Oh. The volunteer. Who are you? <gasps> Hello, Amy. Rory! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, yeah, 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 she kind of got hit. Hey, buddy! The hell are you doing in Rome? <laughs> Hello again. Hi! Hello. I don't know. It's kind of fuzzy. Fuzzy? Well, I died and turned into a Roman. It's very distracting. Oh. It doesn't take them... It doesn't erase them. It repurposes them. Cause guess who? Oh, oh. They sent you lot. You're all whizzing about. It's really very... Yeah. Could you all They're all slow. Yeah. Remember, do the smart thing. And leave. Let somebody else try first. Yeah, what now? What you gonna do now? Is basically what he's saying. I mean, that is their worst... Worst case scenario. Is they get there and the doctor is in their way. They'll look after you. Good. Love a Roman. She doesn't remember me. Nope. Poor How man. How she not remember me? Because you never existed. Yep. Taken out of that part of time. Put into Rome. And, and then I was just here. A Roman soldier. A proper Roman. Head full of Roman... Hmm. Stuff. So he didn't relive his life. A whole other life. Just here, like I'm working up from a dream. He just got stuck in a new I one. It was a dream. You. Location Earth. Uh oh. Silence will fall. Oh no. Pandora's box. So it's kind of like Pandora's box then. Ah, oh, that looks exactly the same as the Pandorica. All right, play We're cool. Crying. She is crying, just like in Tardis, where is it? Hurry Vincent up. and the Doctor. Don't raise your voice. Don't look alarmed. Just listen. They're not real. They can't be. The They're Romans. They're all right here in the storybook. Those actual Romans. The ones I sent okay. you. The ones you're with right now. Yeah. Doctor, that centurion. What's the matter? Nothing. That's not actually Rory. It's me. It's a trap. It has to be. They used to use such a scenario you believe to get close to you. Where are you? What's yeah. the date, Rory? 26th of June, 2010. Yeah. You need to get out of there now. Any That's it. That's the date. 
Well, then shut down the TARDIS. Shut down everything. Shut this down. Shut this whole place down. Why? Ah. Oh. oh no. I'm down. I've landed. Okay, just walk out of the doors. If there's no one inside, the TARDIS engine shut down automatically. Oh, good. Just get out of there. I'm going. I guess that's easier said than done. That's not exactly Cybermen. I'm Rory. I'm. I'm. I'm Rory Williams. What do we do? Plastics. The Autons. Oh god, these guys! Scan by water fox. Your limits and capacities have been extrapolated. Oh god, it's a three-way team up. Ah! The Jadoon! Oh, it's just all of them. Ready for what? Ready for you. Ready for him? Actually shot her. And you, you've come to me for help. No, we will save the universe from you. From him. From me. The cracks in time are the work of the Doctor. It is confirmed. No, 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 not me. They're the locking TARDIS, him away. I'm not in the TARDIS, am I? Only the Doctor can pilot the TARDIS. Please listen to me. Wow. That's a twist. God damn it. Sorry, my love. Huh. Silence. Silence will fall. They all teamed up against him. They all teamed up because if the doctor would stay out of the TARDIS, Then, then the TARDIS wouldn't explode, but they didn't account for River. Amy's dead. River is dead. The TARDIS is gone. The Doctor has been locked away. And the universe has been destroyed. How... The fuck did they get out of this? It's, 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 they're too late.
they're they're too goddamn late. They can't. There's not. What can they do? What can they do? Two of them are dead. Rory is a fucking auton. The doctor has been locked away in the Pandorica. The only thing that can hold him. The universe... I, I'm not crazy, am I? Let me look at that ending again. Yeah. She couldn't make it out and the TARDIS exploded. Amy's dead. And Rory killed her. The universe is exploding. And then silence. Silence. Now, does that mean the universe is gone? I don't know. How? I just, I don't. This fucking show. And I just, mm, mm. Just, just, how? How? How do you get out of that? And look, I know the show keeps going, but I just, oh. That's the mark of a good cliffhanger. When I know the show keeps going, and I just, I don't know. Is the universe still there? That's the biggest question. Is the universe still there? Possibly. We didn't see the Earth explode. We didn't see the Earth explode. What we heard was nothing. There was just silence, which they said, silence will fall. They said, silence will fall, and silence has fallen. (sighs) 
so let me tell you guys something. It was in series three that I started doing these, uh, the final two episodes of a Doctor Who season uh, back to back. I did them when I started doing them in the same week. Uh, we did that for The Sound of Drums and The Last of the Time Lords. And then we did that again in series four for, um, what was it? The Stolen Earth and Journey's End. And then we did that for both uh, End of Time Part 1 and Part 2. And we're doing that again. We're doing that again. But this time it's a bit different because um, I can't watch the next episode right now. I have to wait a few days. I have to wait a few days before I can watch the next episode. Normally, when I do this, I film them pretty much back to back. Not today. Not today. I have to wait. I have to wait. Not a full week. Not a full week, but I do have to wait. For just a few days before I can watch the finale. And I know you guys in the comments are going to be like, Oh, well, we had to wait a week before the next episode came out on BBC when I was three. I don't know. I don't know how old you guys were <laughs> collectively. Uh, no, what? Uh, but still. This is, the, this is the first time that I have to wait a bit and it's driving me crazy. Uh, hopefully my hair will look better. You got a haircut. For some reason, it wants to wing out today. My bangs are way too short. Whatever. Should we just go to the notes? The first thing I wrote down was Van Gogh. Van Gogh, Van Gogh, or whatever... You guys tried putting the pronunciation, the like Dutch pronunciation, in um, in like the comments and stuff, and I'm I'm just gonna say Van Gogh. Mm. So we started with Van Gogh. And now he was losing his fucking mind. And... And he had one... A new painting. This time it's a new painting. You guys did point out that uh, the uh, Sunflowers painting was not a new painting. That's a painting he actually did. But he put the four Amy on there. And... Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know much about Van Gogh, so, yeah, but now, 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 that, now he has a new painting, now he definitely has a new painting, he painted the TARDIS exploding, and he gave specific coordinates to which River, to which the painting got to Winston Churchill, who tried to call the doctor, but the TARDIS redirected it to River Song, who then went all the way back to Planet One, the original planet, and carved in the oldest known message, the oldest known writing that no one has ever been able to translate... Until the doctor goes there and the TARDIS translates it. So he gets the message. And then they go to Britannia, Britain, Brit Britain, ancient Rome, Britain. Where she has taken over the Legion as Cleopatra. All right, that's cool. It's cool. Ties in a lot of things from this season. You know, we tied in Van Gogh and Churchill and River Song. Which, that is the thing, is that this is... I mentioned that this is the first time uh, since... Well, okay, end of time, I guess. 
uh, this is one of the few times where in the finale they don't have Captain Jack. You know, we had him at the end of Series 1, at the end of Series 3, and technically at the end of Series 4 during uh, The Stolen Earth. Uh, but he was not in Series 2. He was not in um, at the end of the Tenet specials. Well, he did cameo, but he but he wasn't a part of the plot. And he's not a part of the plot here, but instead we have River Song, uh, which is actually really cool. So... Now, I, it, it almost feels like she's taking up the mantle of Jack, which is cool. So we go all the way back to Rome, which is pretty interesting. Um... And we go to Stonehenge. That's kind. Of, that's cool. You know, tie in Stonehenge. And tie in Stonehenge, and that's that's where the Pandorica is. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. You know, get a little bit on Stonehenge. Stonehenge, which is which is a transmitter, which sent a signal to fuck. Everybody. Everyone. All of the Doctor's enemies. All of them. All of them? I probably did not remember to put the gif in. I'm sure I didn't. Maybe I will, but nine times. You saw. if You saw if it happened or not. It transmitted to everyone. How do they all have time travel capabilities? Well, I guess the Alliance. I guess that's how. Because so I was going to say, the Autons, the Autons, the Santarans. I'm sorry. I know we leaned, I know I leaned back in the last episode, but this is a lean back episode. I've been fighting it, but I got to lean back just a little bit. The Autons, the Santarans, the Silurians, um, the Slivine. All of them went back in time, presumably with the help of the Daleks and the Cybermen. The Cybermen also have time travel capabilities. So... So, yeah, with this great alliance, but we'll get to that in a sec. So, they all showed up. They all showed up, and the doctor was like, what the hell do we do? We're just three people. And then he decides, oh, well, don't worry. We can take on all of these alien bad guys, every single villain that I have ever crossed. We can stop them. We have the Roman army. In hindsight, that's not your greatest idea. It's not a very good plan, is it? Not a very good plan. You really can't fight off aliens with Romans. I get it. The Romans were great. But these are aliens. And, you know, the Daleks. <sighs> so, yeah, the Roman legions. Interesting. I liked having the Roman, the Roman army there. That was, that was a little interesting. Um, it was also interesting that, you know, they were like, oh, you're here masquerading as Cleopatra, who's in Egypt and dead. And it's like, when is this? Did they say? I don't think they actually gave a date as to when this was. 
Like, if Cleopatra's dead, then Mark Antony is dead, Caesar is dead. I guess it's the Legion under Augustus. It would have to be. It would have to be the Legion under Augustus, but... Granted, they were all made up, but we'll talk about that in a sec. Can we talk about Amy's house? Because it just didn't... It just... It, like, didn't click in my head until the doctor, like, started making the connections. Where are Amy's parents? Where's Amy's aunt? Where are they? Where are they? We knew that her parents were gone and she was living with her aunt. But we never saw her aunt. Not in the past. Not in the present. And you know, she mentioned her aunt when she was a kid. Never brought her up when she was an adult. Could it be possible that the family of poor little Amelia Pond were erased, erased from existence because of the crack? I'm still tempted to say Amy's crack. Oh, it's always funny to say. They're gone! They're gone because of a crack in time and space. Just like Rory. Except he's not. So Rory's back. Kind of. He's back. He was erased from time and space. Amy completely forgot about him. The doctor didn't. Uh, you guys were quick to point out that uh, the doctor uh, always remembered Rory. Guess he just couldn't do anything about it, so he just didn't mention it. So, okay. Rory wasn't erased. It wasn't erased. No, no, no. He was repurposed as a Roman soldier who woke up as a soldier recently He's repurposed recently because he said that he remembers dying. He remembers being enveloped in the light, the light of the crack, the light of Amy's crack, if you will. And then... And then he woke up. He was a Roman soldier, and everyone was talking about the uh the visitors and the girl with the red hair so he just woke up and you know i was thinking okay you know that's pretty cool that's pretty cool turning into frank castle uh, that's, that's pretty cool 
you know, do a little head nod and do a little this. Have you ever noticed that's how Frank Castle moves in The Punisher? He's, he's always he's always kind of looking over here. And, and then he looks over here. Not important. So that was a cool concept. That was a cool concept. He wasn't a race. He was just he purposed. And I thought, okay, well, maybe that happened to the, the clerics. Maybe they were repurposed. Maybe they're in Rome. Maybe they're here. But they ain't. They ain't. <sighs> Was that even Rome? Was that even... Did they even go back in time? Because the Romans... The Romans were made up. It was all a trap. So... Did they even go back in time? Now you can see me. Were they even in ancient Rome? Or were they in 2010? On June 26, 2010. They might not have been. What we can say for sure is the TARDIS went to 2010. The fuck is wrong with the TARDIS, man? What happened? Like, what the fuck happened to it? Why was it acting up like that? You know, it, River said it's like someone else is controlling it. Someone else was controlling it. Who controlled it? Why did it explode? Why? It's not not the bad guys. They didn't do it. They were preventing that from happening. By separating the doctor from the TARDIS. Because, from their conclusions, only the doctor can fly the TARDIS. Pretty fair analysis. Pretty fair assumption that only the doctor can fly the TARDIS. But... None of them accounted for River Song. And if she had just... If she had just gotten out of there, the TARDIS engines would have shut down and it would, uh, would not have exploded. But anyway... The river goes to 2010. Something landed in her house, in Amy's house. Not what I thought would have been the thing that was in the Pandorica, because the thing that was in the Pandorica was the doctor. So she goes, she sees something has attacked the house.
she finds the stuff about the raggedy doctor, finds the book of all the Romans, finds the picture of Rory as a Roman centurion. The Romans were fake. And not only were they fake, they were autons. They were autons. And Rory, even though he does have his memories, they did create him to be almost an exact replica of Rory Williams. He's still fake. He's an auton. Rory did die. He died and was erased from time. But he was recovered from her memories. They copied him from her memories. All right. So we have the Autons, which, hey, I haven't seen them in a while. Since, uh, episode one. So the Autons are back. That's pretty cool. The Daleks. The Power Ranger Daleks are back. The Cybermen. Back. Flidin, Santarans, everyone is back so that they could contain the doctor. They knew the TARDIS was going to explode. Oh, I guess it would have, it would, it was actually Rome. Because River Song went back there anyway. So they just put fake Roman legions in Roman Britain. Okay, my bad. Um, okay. So the TARDIS was... They knew the TARDIS was going to explode. They knew the TARDIS was going to explode. And they deduced that the only way that would happen was if the Doctor was in the TARDIS. So, they devised an alliance and this entire plan simply to remove the Doctor from the TARDIS. And it worked. They just didn't account for River Song. They didn't account for River Song. So the TARDIS exploded. The TARDIS exploded. What looked like the universe exploded and silence fell upon the earth but it's possible that the earth is still there it's possible it's possible the doctor is still alive it's possible 
And it is possible that the Doctor will find some way... Some way out of this. Some way to get the TARDIS back. Some way to save River. Some way to save Amy. Amy's dead. Maybe even some way to save Rory. From himself at this point. Maybe. Maybe there's a way. There has to be a way. Show keeps going, doesn't it? It does. Show does keep going, but... How they get out of this one? Oh, fuck no. Oh, shit, you can see all my shit, I just realized. Ignore that. I shouldn't be at the, that angle. Makes me look 20 times fatter than I really am. Grand, I'm a portly gentleman. But whatever. The fuck else can I say? I think we've been talking for f almost 45 minutes now. I don't know. I don't know what we'll do. I don't know how the day will be saved. I don't know if we'll lose anything. I don't know. With all that being said, I'm Alex from 7th Hour Films. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to watch more of my Doctor Who reactions, you can click on the playlist. You can subscribe if you haven't done that already, and be sure you hit that notification bell. You can support me on Patreon and follow me on social media. Thanks,